All right, tell me if this has ever happened to you. You're just thinking about something, maybe a new pair of sneakers, a fancy espresso machine, or that one random gadget you swear will change your life. Next thing you know, ads everywhere. Like I'm talking Instagram, TikTok, even that random website you once visited in like 2020. And you're just sitting there like, okay, that's weird. Coincidence, maybe. But then it happens again and again. Good news, friends, it's not AI reading your mind. The bad news, AI is just really, really smart. Like, AI is changing the way we buy stuff, the way businesses sell to us. And honestly, it's happening so fast, most people don't even realize it. So let's break it down, because whether you're a shopper, a business owner, or just someone who finds AI mildly terrifying, AI is here to stay, and it is running the show. AI knows what you want before you do. So how does AI actually know what we want? Well, it's not reading our minds, but it is analyzing everything. Like how long we hover, if we zoom in on an image, how many times we check a product before moving on. And what it does is it pieces together tiny details to predict what we're most likely to buy next. Now think Netflix. Ever notice how it always seems to suggest something you actually wanna watch? Uh, that's because it's tracking what you binge, what you skip, and even how long you hover over a thumbnail. Now, take that same creepy smart system and apply it to shopping. Amazon, TikTok shop, your favorite clothing brands, they're all watching what you do. How long you stare at a product, if you zoom in on the photo, how many times you almost buy something but hesitate. And once they have enough data, AI steps in and says, all right, let's push them over the edge. That's why suddenly you get that, wait, here's 10% off pop-up. And just like that, you're at checkout convincing yourself that this was a logical decision. But let's stop here for a second and talk about what this means for businesses. If you run an online store, AI-powered recommendations are your best friend. You see, AI doesn't just show customers what they like. It predicts what they'll want next. And businesses don't even have to play the guessing game anymore of who's interested. Tools like Dynamic Yield and Google Recommendations AI do all the heavy lifting. They're kind of like super smart sales assistants, but instead of working in a store, they work online 24 seven, tracking what people are interested in and nudging them toward buying. It tracks everything a customer does. It analyzes patterns to predict what they'll want next. And listen to this, it adjusts the website in real time, like changing homepage banners, rearranging product listings, or like highlighting deals based on what that specific person is most likely to buy. So basically it personalizes the whole shopping experience from A to Z, so customers feel like the store was kind of designed for them. AI is selling to you, even after you leave. Here's where AI gets really sneaky. So let's say you have enough self-control to resist the 10% off pop-up and leave the site. AI is like, ooh, we are not done yet. You open Instagram and add for those exact sneakers. You check your email, still thinking about these. You scroll through TikTok and another ad. See, AI-powered retargeting is relentless because it works. People who almost buy something and then get reminded about it are way more likely to go back and buy. Everything is designed to reel you back in at just the right time. Some companies even use AI to figure out when you're most likely to buy and they time their messages accordingly, right? So for us consumers, this is a huge wake up call because Apple Pay is just a double click away and my credit card doesn't ever seem to get a day off. But if you sell anything online, AI retargeting is definitely your best friend. So instead of hoping people come back, AI follows up for you, reminding them of what they left behind through ads, emails, and even text messages. So Facebook, Google, TikTok, all of them let you run AI-powered campaigns that know exactly who to target. Now, one of my faves, MailChimp, has AI-driven email automation that lets you send personalized emails when customers abandon their carts. So nothing's innocent anymore. AI is changing how we try before we buy. Okay, but let's talk about one of the biggest problems with online shopping. It's risky. What if the fit is off? What if the color looks totally different in person? 
AI is fixing that too. Brands are using augmented reality to let you try before you buy. You can see how clothes look on your body, you know, test makeup on your skin, or even drop a digital couch into your living room. Like IKEA lets you scan your space and place a 3D version of their furniture inside it. And if you've ever used a virtual try-on filter from Sephora or Charlotte Tilbury, that's AI mapping your face to show you exactly how that lipstick shade will look on your skin tone. Now, Warby Parker lets you try on glasses virtually, and from what I remember, Nike has an AI-powered sizing tool that makes sure you order the perfect fit. And it's not just about convenience. This is actually saving businesses a ton of money. You see, when people can try before they buy, they're way less likely to return stuff, which means fewer headaches for both shoppers and businesses. Plus, fewer returns mean fewer shipments going back and forth, cutting down on necessary transportation, emissions, and reducing the overall carbon footprint. But what does this mean for businesses? Well, if you're in retail, AI-powered try-on experiences are a game changer. Like online shoppers are 40% more likely to buy when they can try before they buy. That means fewer returns, happier customers, and higher profits. AR is definitely something a lot of businesses will try to leverage. So if you have that option and that budget available for you, go for it. Let your customers try on your products without leaving their house. If not, you can always lean on AI-powered fit prediction tools that recommend the best size based on past purchases and, you know, body measurements. Even a big shark like Zara uses this. AI is making businesses smarter and sneakier. So here's where it gets even more interesting. AI isn't just controlling what we see. It's shaping how much we pay. I can't believe we're actually in a time where I'm saying this, but have you ever noticed how flight prices change every time you check? Like check a flight three times without booking and suddenly the price jumps. AI thinks, ooh, this person really wants it. Let's make them panic buy. Uber does the same thing. When demand spikes, prices go up. That's AI powered dynamic pricing in action. Businesses use AI to track demand, shopping behavior, and even how many times you check a product. Like if you keep revisiting the same item, AI assumes you really want it. And sometimes the price will increase to create urgency. Yeah, but businesses aren't just using AI for pricing. They're using it to predict what's going to be popular before we even realize we want it. So fashion brands scan TikTok and Instagram to see what's trending so they can start making those products before the hype even hits. That's why the second a trend blows up, it feels like every store is already stocked with it. Like when bucket hats made a comeback, they're already in every store. So what does this mean for businesses? Well, AI-driven pricing and trend prediction equals a huge advantage. The key is to make this work in your favor without making customers feel manipulated. Tools like PriceSync and Competera adjust prices based on real-time demand and competitor pricing. Meaning you're never too cheap, never too expensive, always right where you need to be. And tools like Trendalytics track social media, search data, and shopping habits to tell brands what's about to take off. If searches for metallic dresses spike, AI tells brands, stock up, this is about to be huge. So here's the big question. Is AI making shopping better or just making us spend more? Like, on the one hand, it makes everything easier, better recommendations, fewer returns, instant answers. On the other hand, AI knows us. But at the end of the day, AI isn't making decisions for us. It's just really good at nudging us in the direction it wants. So as a consumer, be aware of how it works so you don't fall into the trap. And if you're a business owner, learn how to use AI to your advantage because the brands that don't adapt, they're gonna get left behind. So what do you think? Is AI making shopping smarter or are we all just getting played? Let me know in the comments. And of course, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.